Are the soap operas at your office ready for prime time? Well, I'm here to tell you, if you're thinking that remote workers will make it less inclined to have soap opera, you might have to give it a second thought. I'm Stan Simpkins with my partner, Lonnie Shambi, a partners in crime here, to give you maybe a few minutes snippet of some key points to bring top of mind awareness to you. Things about you probably know already, but you know, you kind of think, oh, I wish I had thought of that before. So, you know, Lonnie, let me ask you a question. With the uh, all the stuff with remote work, and you would think with workers not being on top of each other at the water cooler, there'd be less inclination to have drama. You have any insights to that? The thing is this, there's actually more because the drama really becomes you know, part of where the business owner is, is thinking about where these workers are and what they're doing when they're not in front of them. That's true. I, I could see where some owners, especially the ones that are micromanagers, uh, would think, well, geez, if I can't see them, how do I know they're working? But I really want to get to the point of where you have the drama between employees that oftentimes comes because they're so close to each other uh, that you would think, well, geez, if I have them remotely working, that's not going to happen. When reality is we both know emails are the nemesis of relationships in many cases. And with with remote, it's more inclination to have emails, don't you think? No question. And 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 the And the interpretation of an email if you have five people in a room, there'll be five different interpretations mm -hmm. of what that email means. Right. And if something's really important, you can generally corner somebody you know, in an office. Uh, you could threaten to send a bunch of emails and texts, but we all know there's some people who just don't get to their emails right away. And you could text them to your blue in the face and they probably wouldn't like to call them at their house as a fellow employee. That creates problems in its own for creating drama. Well, you know, the thing is this though, you gotta set some you have to set some guidelines. Okay. And that is, you know, with with and, and ground rules. Um, I may need to call somebody during the day. Okay. Or maybe it's just a Zoom call. Whatever it is, if I need to get hold of somebody like right now, I need to go get to them right now. There you go again, Lonnie. You with your systems and procedures. So you're <laughs> telling me that if I was a listener. I should be asking myself, have I even addressed this issue with my remote workers? Or am I letting them battling out and creating their own systems between them? I, I am sure that you probably have as many systems and procedures as you have remote workers. <laughs> That's my guess. <laughs> well, we wish we could go into this in great depth. But the reality is, because these are only top of mind awareness, we're limited to the promise we made, which is just a few minutes. So if you'd like to learn about this and other topics, come take a look at us at sbvirtualroundtables.com. And hey, if you got a topic you want us to cover, pop us a note. We'd be glad to include it in our next sessions. Absolutely. And, and for Stan Simpkins, I'm Lonnie Shambi. Have a great day.